All right, so I decided to vlog today to show me on my not so good days. <clears throat> Chokes. <laughs> um, so yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and basically my doctor still thinks it's my autonomic nervous system and it's like a mix it's it's like a new thing kind of i'm basically the guinea pig because they don't really know exactly how to treat it and it's just a hypothesis of what they think the problem is and so they ramped up my meds so i'm taking two at night and one in the morning instead of one at night and one in the morning and she said that my heart rate might spike and go up to 120 maybe even 140 at resting heart rate if it goes to 140 like i'm in trouble um 120 just means like stop so I've been very careful to watch my heart rate, but I'm pretty sure the meds are giving me headaches. I've had headaches the past couple days and also, and headaches suck because then I just like can't get anything else done. Um, and, and also not sleeping well. So I'm basically just tossing and turning all night and going into very little deep sleep. So I just don't feel energetic at all or rested at all so it's definitely frustrating and today i just feel really bad because i didn't sleep well and then i have a headache so it's really hard to do anything but that is the current update and it's definitely frustrating as someone who is very motivated to get work done to just be in bed all day and not feel good but i did want to vlog on a day when I don't look as good, right? Usually in my vlog, I only vlog on days when I have enough energy to vlog or I take breaks in between saying what I want to say so that I can get it out. But I do want to share more about the behind the scenes and even share on days when I'm not feeling well. So this is one of those days and I'm just keeping an eye on my heart rate and yeah, the the med I'm on has a lot of really bad side effects. Um, a lot of them are just like fatigue, tiredness, generally feeling sick, dizzy, nausea, all of that that I've had. So yeah, all right, my headache is getting worse again. I'm gonna go back to just sleeping slash resting. So talk to you soon. All right, so today I am highlighting my hair red again. I'm so excited. So I put my hair in a high bun and I use this shampoo that is for people with red hair, <laughs> but I just leave it in for like a couple hours and it will highlight my hair. So I'm very excited. I have it in high bun because usually you want to put it in the position that you want it to like look like. So if it's in a high bun, a lot of the red will hopefully be shown most when my hair is also in a high bun so that's the goal i have so much like dye still on my hands it just takes a while to come out usually i take a bath that night and then i can like soak my fingernails to get all the red out but i'm so excited i wanted to re-highlight my hair red for so long and it just it is uncomfortable to stand for a couple hours with this in because you can't like lay down and rest like I usually do so yeah but I'm so excited it's gonna be a lot of fun and today is the day after my birthday and so I had such a blast yesterday with my family so my dad came out and we socially distanced the whole time and wore masks and blew like two fans on my dad to take his air away the other direction but we did play some games and we also had him like washing his hands incessantly in bleach water so yeah we were able to play a bunch of games the whole day i make my parents guess flags because i memorize all the flags of the world so i think it's so funny to have them try guessing flags so we'll do that game which is really fun we play a little bit of clue played some wingspan we played some five crowns just really mixed it up some uno a bunch of different stuff and i just had some such a fun day so yeah that was yesterday Saturday so today Sunday I'm just kind of continuing the fun and doing my hair so yeah I I loved 
yesterday because I haven't taken any day off on the weekend in a really long time. I've just felt so behind from all of my health stuff that I constantly feel like I need to be working when I can to, to keep caught up. So I spent so much time on Friday just working ahead so that I could take off Saturday and not have to edit my vlog during Saturday or do other work. And it felt amazing. By the end of the day, yes, I was tired just from being social all day, but like I felt so energized with new ideas and I was writing all these ideas down and I need to do that more often is what that's showing me. Like I need to take days off so that I can get re-inspired and feel reinvigorated and feel energized to pursue my ideas and come up with new ideas. So yeah, that is kind of the thought after yesterday is like, man, I need to take days off more often. So I'm just every single day trying to get done what I can get done because I just felt so different after yesterday. So yes, it was such an amazing, incredible day. And I'm so excited today to do my hair. So I'm gonna go continue my day with this in my head. It's honestly already kind of uncomfortable, so we'll see how long it stays. <laughs> but I am really excited, ah! So I'll show you the after. All right, let's go. Is our hair down for the first time in five years? Yeah, yep. Pretty much. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but I highlighted my hair yesterday and now suddenly I'm someone who has my hair down. Can I not stop looking at it? Correct, correct. Like I'm just constantly fiddling with it and it's like really confusing me and I just don't know who I am. <laughs> but it looks so much darker. Ooh, there's a little little red there can you see that oh girl <laughs> so I'm so excited I love highlighting my hair my hair gets super dark because all of the lighter a little bit blonde streaks get just red super dark red so my hair gets really dark and I'm really about this hairstyle now so I'm officially someone who wears my hair down <laughs> so anyway I just wanted to pop on and Say that like I really kind of miss vlogging. I've done some vlog recaps where I'll just like recap like an entire week and you can't really notice because I was like really behind on footage too but things are different now and so here we are. <laughs> so I'm really trying to vlog more often. I wanted to recap my birthday gifts and show you a couple because I'm really excited about them. Let me get them. I'm back. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I am beyond excited for chapstick. This is when you know you're an adult. It's like when you get chapstick and you're like, this was the best gift I could have gotten. I was almost out. I haven't been out in the world for more than two years. And you know when you go to like events and everyone has free chapstick? I haven't gotten any free chapstick. So got me some Mango Kiss Peppermint so excited and it's just mm, my lips feel incredible 